Hi hey guys. This is the laundry room in our home. And as you can see, there's very little water pressure there. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix this and explain why it's like this. This is the pressure tank and it's what controls the pressure in your plumbing system in your home. And keep in mind too, this is only if you have a well. If you're in a city somewhere, then you're getting water directly from the city water mains. But I have a well, so anyway, what happens is that tank loses air pressure over time. And you see there I have a little, that's just a little tire inflator gun. And there's a little valve on the top of the tank there that that connects to. And this is what's in the system now for pressure. This is with it full of water. And it's just a little tiny bit over 50 PSI, which isn't bad. The problem is when you turn your water on, if there's not enough pressure inside the bladder that's inside that tank, then you'll lose a lot of water pressure when you turn your taps on or a couple of taps or have a shower or whatever. So what you have to do is you have to drain the water out of the tank. There's a valve at the bottom of this tank and that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. And you drain the water out of the tank and that relieves any pressure that's in there on the bladder. And that'll actually then show you what is how much pressure is in the tank when it's empty. That's what you need to know. There should be at least around 40 psi in that tank when it's empty. And as the water comes out of this, which it's doing right now, it's going down quite low. I believe there was only about 23 pounds of air inside that bladder, which is quite low. So now all the pressure or all the water is out of the tank. So you can see there, it's hard to tell, but there's about 23 PSI in the bladder. So now I'm connecting the air hose and I'm going to pump the bladder up to about 40 PSI. And it actually could be a little higher than that, but you could you could pump it up to 45. Um, but generally, 40, 45 is where you want to be when there's no water in the tank. So all you're doing here is adding air to the bladder that's inside that tank.
and that's it. I just pumped it up to 40 PSI. So now what I'll do is I will turn the water back on and start filling the tank back up. So you can hear the pump in the background here and this is we're filling the tank back up with water repressurizing the system and this can take a little bit of time because it's a good sized tank And there you just heard the pump shut off. So that means it's up to its pressure now, which is pretty close to 60, about 55 I'd say. Which is right where we want to be. So now all we have to do is uh, run upstairs and see what the pressure's like. It should have improved quite a bit but there's still some other adjustments we can make so here's the tap upstairs again turn it on let it run for a bit and you can see that's quite a bit better but it's still not it could be a little bit better yet This is the cover for the pressure switch that goes on the pump and it's got all the instructions there on how to do everything. That's the pressure switch itself. That center bolt you see there with the nut on it, uh, that bolt we're going to turn that um, clockwise and that will increase the turn off, turn on pressure. Um, the other bolt there is we don't need to touch that one at all the smaller one on the right and This should increase our pressure a Little bit we turn that in you don't need to turn in very much uh, Anyway, and you'll see here the water pressure is running much better This is the sink in the bathroom way at the other end of the house and it's got really good pressure now so yeah thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the video